In this video, let's talk about Germany's Rundfunk Beitrag. In English, it is called as Broadcasting Service. So, let's begin. So, what is this Rundfunk Beitrag? It is the German public television and radio licensing fees. It is often called as radio and TV tax. How much is the radio and TV tax in Germany? The radio tax in Germany is 18 euros 36 cents per month per household, regardless of how many people live in. It is collected quarterly, so you pay 55 euros four times a year. The last price increase was in August 2021. Is it mandatory to pay this Rundfunk Spytrag? Yes. Since 2013, every household in Germany must pay this Rundfunk Spytrag. It is irrelevant whether you consume German public broadcasting services or not. When people move to Germany for the first time and see the letter from the broadcasting service, it is often ignored because of its irrelevance. But the thing is, as soon as you do the unmeldung in Germany, you are Burgeramt will notify the Beitrag service. So now let's understand under which circumstances you can apply for exemption or reduction of the Rundfunk's Beitrag. If you are receiving government welfare benefits such as unemployment benefit, disability benefit or old age pensions, those who are vision and hearing impaired. The students, those who receive financial support through BAFOJ. For married couples and registered partners, if one of the partner has exemption from the broadcasting fees, then other partner do not need to pay the Rundfunk's Beitrag. For exemptions in any of these cases, I have given the link in the description box below. Through that link, you can apply for the exemption. But what if you are registered in the two households in Germany? Yes, there are some cases where you have two households in Germany. The second house is called as Nebenwohnsitz. If that is the case, you do not need to pay this tax double. You can apply for an exemption for your second home via the link which I have provided in the description box below. What if someone in my household is already paying this Rundfunk's Beitrag? If you move into a flat share, there are high chances that someone in your new household is already paying this Rundfunk's Beitrag. To avoid double paying, you need to inform them that the person in your household is already paying the Rundfunk's Beitrag. That you can do online also. Link for that form I have provided in the description box below. You can check over there. You will need name and Beitrax number from your flatmate. Also, your mailed Beshainigung from your unmeldung. Do I have to pay radio tax as a student? Yes, unless you live with your parents or receive a financial support through BAFOJ. Even if you are on scholarship, you still have to pay this Rundfunk's Beitrag. If you live in student housing, no matter whether your room has kitchen or bathroom, if it is accessible from the general hallway, it gets classified as its own household. In that case, you have to pay up a loan. Whereas the Wege means Wohnungsgemeinschaft is considered as a one household. You and your flatmates can share this licensing fees of 18 euros 36 cents per month. How to pay the radio tax in Germany? Unlike other services in Germany, the payment for the radio tax doesn't happen monthly. You can choose one of the four of these options. In the middle of the month, every three months. Prepay for the three months at the beginning of the quarter. Prepay for six months at the beginning of the semester or you can Prepay one year. You have two options to pay radio tax in Germany. You can give direct debit authorization from your German bank account. That you can do also online. The link for that form I have given in the description box below. You can take from there. Second option is you can give standing orders from your bank account. So you never forget to make a payment. 
One important point I would like to highlight here from 2022, they will not be sending any reminder letters. Previously, they used to send the reminder letters. From this year, they will not be sending any reminder letters. To avoid the troubles, I will recommend to go with the standing orders to your bank account. What happens if I don't pay the radio tax? If you don't pay the radio tax, you will get into serious legal troubles. The Bytrax services will inform the Schufa, which holds your credit score in Germany. It will affect your Schufa rating in Germany, and you will end up paying the sum you own plus additional fines. So this additional fine starts with eight euros. And the last one: how to cancel the TV tax in Germany? When you're leaving Germany for good, you need to deregister your address with your local Burgeramt. This process is called as Abmeldung, and you also need to deregister with ARD ZDF Deutschlands Radio to avoid further payment requests. For this, I have also provided link in the description box below. You can check over there. If you moved within Germany, then you do Abmeldung. When you move within Germany, you have to re-register your address with the local Burgeramt as well as with GEZ. I hope through this video I have covered all the points regarding the Rundfunk's Bytrax. If you feel the content is good, please do like the video for YouTube algorithms. Thank you for watching the video till the end. See you until next time. Bye bye.